they're starting to use tobacco in a different way. There has been some movement in uh, making the entryways of the clinic smoke-free. My name's Evangeline Suquette. I am the program manager and one of the co-occurring therapists here at the Stockbridge Muncie Health and Wellness Center Behavioral Health Department. They created a garden space where they grow natural or natural tobacco where none of the additives are and they are using that for cultural ceremonies and spiritual for prayer. You know, growing their own leaves, you know, seeing the, the product from a seed and then putting them into the ground and then watching it grow. And then harvesting the tobacco leaves and then they would give, give the tobacco leaves away at the Powell every year. There has been some movement in uh, making the um, entryways of the clinic smoke-free. People smoking at the entrances have, has had and was a continued problem until some community members stepped forward wanting to change that because who wants to come in, you're already sick and walking through a cloud of haze. There is a large percentage of people that we refer um, up to the pharmacy because the pharmacist Dave Axe does smoking cessation. There's a number of, uh, the physicians upstairs also refer to Dave uh, with clients who want to discontinue their smoking habits. You know, because the, the rate of smoking is so high, it's, it's, it's kind of a normal thing to smoke. It's, it's kind of like the way the whole country was about 50 years ago. You know, it's about at that level as far as acceptance. So, so these sort of policy changes change people's perspective as far as what's normal and what's not normal. I know that they built that addition to bring more businesses up this way to have conferences. Having it smoke free, I think, was the tribal councils, they had sort of agreed prior to even building it that it would be smoke free. Bowler High School, um, it's their intention to sort of have their prom and s school activities there as well. And that's one of the requirements that if the school is going to contract with a facility or an agency, that it needs to be smoke free. We do have a community garden right next to our library museum. There may be tab tobacco leaves there today. We do have community members that are growing their tobacco leaves. They start them out with seeds and they continue to grow them every year and they are passing that tradition on to that next generation of children and teaching them the cultural importance of tobacco, not the commercial. So, you know, that's a good way to see the kids to actually see what tobacco is really used. And then on top of it, to understand the importance of tobacco in our, in everyday Native American life in that spiritual sense. By attending ceremonies, I found out that that tobacco that we take in from the pipe is not inhaled completely into our lungs because our ancestors knew that tobacco was not to be used in that way. It is only to use for prayer and or healing. 